What's going on guys? John Alder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to create an age calculator for Kinter and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're going to build a simple age calculator. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. All right, it is the new year, 2022. This is the very first video of the new year. Now, this is a very basic app that we're going to create. And mostly that's because I'm not quite ready to make videos yet in the new year. We're getting into the new studio here. And we've got some of the things set up. Lighting, I'm not quite sure about. The sound is not quite dialed in yet. So this video is almost more of a test of the new office space than anything else. So thanks for being my test subject here, but uh, we'll get it sorted out in the next few days and then we'll get back to shooting videos in the regular schedule uh, that we're gonna have going forward through the year. So a couple of things to note really quickly, I haven't yet had a chance to increase the price of Kodemi membership up to $300. I'll be doing that in the next couple of days. I just didn't have time over the holiday break to do that. And because of that, you can still get the special $49 price if you use coupon code YouTube one. Uh, that's just for the next couple of days until I get that all updated. I know I said January 1st for that, but I kind of ran out of time and I spent the holiday weekend. We had a wedding to go to and, uh, you know, just hanging out with family. So didn't get to it. So, hey, that's good for you guys. You guys can still get full membership. So for $49 with coupon code YouTube one, you guys know the deal. You get all my courses, all my future courses, almost 50 courses now. We're going to be doing all kinds of cool stuff in the new year. So grab that $49 price because in the next couple of days, I'll be updating it to $298, I think. So yeah, grab that now. So, all right. There, so this is what we're going to be doing in this video. And here you could just, you know, not enter a date, whatever. Boom, your age is 26. Very simple app, but uh, you know, whatever. It's the new year. Don't put anything. Hey, you forgot to enter your age. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So head back over here. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor in the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with over 200 other Kinter videos. So check that out if you haven't so far. Okay, I've got our basic Kinter starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it age.py. And we're going to need a few things in order to pull this thing off. So the first thing we're going to need is date time. We're going to be able to, we're going to need to know, hey, what's the current date? So let's go from date time. We just want to import date time, right? And I also want to pop up a little message box to tell us, you know, what our age is or an error. So let's go from T Kinter. We want to import message box. Okay. So let's just come down here and kind of rough this out. First, I'm going to create a function called age. And let's just pass for now. So we're going to need a label starting off. So let's go my underscore label. And that's going to be a label. We want to put it in root. We want the text to equal enter year born, something like that, whatever. And let's give this a font of Helvetica and like 24 to make it nice and big. All right, so let's go my underscore label dot pack, pack this guy onto the screen, give it a pad Y of like 20, just to push down the screen a little bit. So we're also gonna need an entry box so we can type in the year, right? So let's go my entry, name it anything you want. Of course, that's gonna be an entry box. We want to put it in root and we want the font to equal what? Let's say again, Helvetica. And let's make this like 18. So make the box a little bit bigger. And again, my entry dot pack. I'm going to give this a pad Y also of 20 to push it down from the label a little bit. And finally, we need a button. So let's go my underscore button. That's going to be a button. And we want to put it in root. We want the text to say uh, what? Say calculate age, something like that. And let's also give this a font of... Helvetica, and also make this like 18. And let's also give this a command of age. So when we click the button, this age function will get called. So, all right, let's my underscore button dot pack this guy and also give this a pad Y of like 20 to push it down the screen. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save this and run it just to make sure that looks okay. Head back over to our terminal. I'm in my C slash GUI directory and let's go Python age dot pi. And when we do, this pops up. That looks pretty good. All right, so. Pretty simple, not much to this. So now let's create the functionality. So let's start off by running an if statement to make sure we entered something into the box, right? So and let's go if my underscore entry dot get, we want to do something else. We want to do something else. And right off the bat, the thing we want to do else, let's pop up the message box. Let's go message box dot show error, I guess. I've got lots of videos on message boxes. And here, let's say error, and let's just type in, you forgot to enter your age, something like that. Okay, that looks good. 
Now, otherwise, if you did enter something in, first let's get the current year. And that's just gonna equal date time, dot now, and then dot year. And this will give us the current year. So it's 2022, this will return 2022, right? So pretty simple. Now let's create a variable and let's say uh, get the current year. And now let's calculate the age. So let's create a variable called your underscore age. And that's just gonna equal the current year minus whatever we entered into that box. So that's my underscore entry dot get. Now this is gonna return a string and we need this to be a number, an integer. So we need to convert this to an integer. So we could just wrap this whole thing in the int function. And uh, that's pretty much it. So here let's uh, show age in message box. So we could just call message box dot show info. Let's say there's lots of different message boxes you can use, but that'll work. And let's give this a title of your age. And let's create an F string here. And let's say your age is, and then we could just pass in that your age variable. There you go. That should work. And down here, let's say show error message. Okay, let's go ahead and save this and run it. Let's see if we messed that up. First video of the new year. Surely we did, right? All right, so let's click this. Hey, you forgot to enter your age. All right, that works. Uh, let's create, let's say 1992. Your age is 30. All right, that seems to work. And let's just, you know, pull up a quick calculator because make sure that's correct. So it's 2022 minus, what age did we say, 1992? 30. All right, that seems to work. Pretty simple, <laughs> not much to this, but hey, we're easing into the new year with a simple video and, you know, testing audio stuff in the new uh, office setup. So, eh, what are you gonna do? So, that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can still use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off memberships. It pays $49 to access all my courses, over 47 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.